Hello there! It's been a while. Fortnite Chapter 3 turned all our expectations on their head, and with Season 2 kicking off in a matter of days, it's now a perfect time for a season recap, going over everything story-related over the last three months. So sit your butt down for 10 minutes, slap in creator code Adamaru to support videos like this, and let's revisit the season. During the final days of Chapter 2, a fight between the Imagined Order and the Last Reality reached its climax. While loopers like you and I fought off the Cube Queen's forces above ground, the IO were underground preparing to evacuate. This gave us a plot twist and the return of the Seven. The Foundation, the Scientist and the Visitor all showed up to rescue the loopers as well as Agent Jones, the man who knows about a dude named Geno. You came back for me. You promised me Geno. Who will be important to the future of Fortnite. Foundation and Jones switched off the gyroscope holding the island in place and then the entire island flipped over. Proving Fortnite is indeed a flat earth kind of planet. It's weird, but also great. After drifting around in the ocean, we made it to the new island. Week 1! The season officially began with a monologue from the Foundation himself, telling us our drive and what's going to power us through the season. It was super simple. Help the Seven free the Zero Point and defeat the Imagined Order. In the first few days, we were recruited by the Scientist. You know the guy from Season X. Season X is here. He gave us this. It's basically a mobile phone. He used it to call us about 30 times over the season. The scientist was in charge of restocking the Seven, ready for their next battle with the Imagined Order. And to do this, he needed to collect tech which was stuck in space and attempted to launch a rocket, but was unsuccessful. This was due to signal jammers placed around the island, but we took care of them. The new island somehow felt familiar and looked like Chapter 1. The placement of the volcano, the lake and other biomes felt the same, yet different. To compound these thoughts, we found the arm of the mech from Season 9 Chapter 1, a detached limb resting in the water exactly where it landed all those years ago. These similarities would grow each week. Wait, is that Tilted Towers? The Daily Bugle was somehow brought onto the island, likely in a similar way the scientists created rift beacons in Chapter 1. This was never confirmed, but how else would part of Spider-Man's world be stuck in a crumbling volcano? We received a little Jonesy law on our first few days on the new island. The looped version versions of the Blonde Ding Dong had set up their own society and wrote a declaration of independence, stating they won't fight for any side anymore. They count themselves out of the war between IO and the Seven. And to really top off the lore of this first week, a secret audio log could be found in which the scientist is trying to coerce the paradigm into rejoining the Seven. We haven't heard from her since chapter one, and the scientist is starting to sound a little desperate. Paradigm, uh, it's me. I'm, I'm guessing you heard what happened. Look, I know our history is complicated, but I want you to know I never lost faith in you. So we really do not deserve your help right now. Not at all, but we need it. And a few days later, she pinged back. She's listening somewhere out there. When week three arrived, the community was in Christmas spirit and things became more Crimbo related. Snowmen, decorations, the cabin returned. We all opened gifts like a sentinel from the Matrix movies. But there was a few things story related behind all this. Rumbling could be felt underfoot. The scientists sent us to play seismometers around the island. Why was the island shaking like this? The results worried the thick guy, but he didn't let us know. Instead, on Christmas Eve, he unveiled a new rocket. Just like those we saw in Chapter 1, and the scientist sent that bad boy up into space. Of course, that happened off camera, so here is my highly skilled recreation. Week 4 saw a huge change in the Fortnite story. The woman we last saw interrogating Agent Jones has reappeared. The IO, led by Dr. Sloan, have made it to the new topside, using drills to break through. Many of us were a little too busy watching the New Year celebrations to notice, but all the time IO were formulating their own plan. Meanwhile, the scientist was still trying to convince the paradigm to return. It was getting a little bit embarrassing. We have reports of seismological disturbances from the underside of the island. That leads me to believe that the Imagined Order are not only active, they're gathering forces. The Imagined Order is playing with a fire that will consume every world we know and every world we've yet to discover. So hurry home while we still have one. I think that means things are getting serious. 
As week 5 arrived, the snow began to melt and Christmas decorations were removed, including at Crackshot's cabin, which was now boarded up for another year. In the south, a second IO drill made it to the surface. IO's offensive was taking shape slowly, as more personnel joined Sloan on the new topside. Oh, and uh, the rocket the scientists sent into space last week? Yeah, well, it failed. But that does not stop the scientist. So, our first rocket recon mission failed. But you know what they say. When one launchpad door closes, another one opens. So we helped him build another one. Week 6 into the new chapter and we received the weather update. It was mind blowing to see a tornado build up and rip through the island, taking random objects on a road trip. And not to mention those storm clouds with thunder and lightning electrifying the ground below. It may not have added much to the story, but damn it was a good update. Oh and uh, another IO drill appeared today. That's three now, two more to go. It suddenly happened, the frozen version of Tilted Towers we all watched Thor for 7 weeks was finally free of the snow and ice, a near perfect recreation of the original POI from 4 years ago. From the no sweat insurance building to the diorama inside telling of the story of chapter 1. And the funny thing is, this version of Tilted is exactly in the same place as the chapter 1 version of Tilted, which once again confirms this new chapter is the original island. It appears that during the end black hole event, the island was flipped with Without us knowing. And now, thanks to the foundation, it's been flipped back again. This update also brought us Clumbos. They serve no purpose at all, but just look at that face. So bloody cute. We all found out that Clumbos are immortal and get angry when shot. This update had more to offer. We also saw the arrival of Haven and her mask collection, along with a small POI for her to call her own. But this was where something really weird happened. An excavation site appeared out of nowhere. Archaeologists had found the skeleton of a mythical beast. Upon closer inspection, it was confirmed to be the Devourer, the remains of the Polar Peak monster who tried to break into the Zero Point in 2019, before being reduced to bones by Singularity. Coincidentally, that's the person who I and many others believe is the Paradigm, and the Paradigm of course is set to come back to the island soon. Oh, and the scientist's second attempt to get a rocket into space jetted off this week. Whee! It's week 9 and a monumental update hits the island. A brand new POI popped up, straight into the mountain face. IO's covert cavern arose. This is a stronghold for IO operatives as they plan the war against the Seven. Armed to the teeth and brimming with loot, most of which can be found in their secret vault. Covert Cavern is protected by Gunner, a thick IO agent who was last seen having his face smashed into a control panel. He's now on the island and ready to fight thanks to a few upgrades. Around Covert Cavern are secret areas referencing another Fortnite season. Chapter 2, Season 2 to be precise, and the Midas operatives. For some reason, they all have belongings and memorabilia everywhere, making many of us think Midas will return soon. IO has not stopped there. Another drill site popped up and yet more IO troops infested this side of the island. They could now be found in vehicles roaming the roads, collecting intel and taking out rogue loopers. IO are far more prepared for the next battle than the Seven. This was also when the foundation became unlockable in game. The day your entire lobby was filled with Dwayne's. And one more thing, the tyre glitch was discovered in week 9. Throwing these things at items could yeet them across the map. Things which were immovable could suddenly be moved. Even the foundation statue. Best glitch ever. This week the scientists had us taking out IO operatives to find out how their funky black suits worked and to maybe create a version for us to get inside IO facilities unseen. Week 10 arrived and the scientists let us know some more bad news. The second rocket we helped to put together, yeah it failed again, but this time the scientist knows who is to blame. So the rocket, it failed again. The imagined order sabotaged us, and I'd like to know how. Disassemble their tech and bring the pieces to me, I'll reverse engineer a solution. I'm like, super smart. The imagined order have deliberately stopped the Seven from rebuilding and preparing for their next attack. Every single time we sent a rocket into the void of space, Sloane and her gang found a way to shut it down. This has prompted the Seven to be more aggressive and the loopers were sent to smash up IO tech, which we did because we are team players. And this week the fifth and final IO drill hit the surface of the island. The imagined order massively outnumber the Seven at this point. 
Week 11 saw a change in the fragile standoff between Io and the Seven, because the scientist built another rocket. That's three rockets this season. Two failed, but this one will work we hope. As we prepared to launch, something strange happened at the I.O. cavern. A strange rumble could be felt underfoot. That became an earthquake, and nearby trees and rocks and roads began to crack and break. The I.O. were drilling underfoot and slowly started travelling south. These drills are going to change the face of the island. The following week, the secret drilling struck something we all love. The greatest drop spot on the island was ruined. The diner became a sinkhole. To be honest, the service was lousy there. Good riddance. The drilling immediately started up again, but this time it moved east. Week 13, and it happened again. A new sinkhole appeared, this time taking out this lovely home. What a shame. And once again, when a sinkhole appears, the IO drill seems to change direction. This time it began to go north. This week saw an Easter egg added out of respect for the tire glitch a month earlier. Stacks of tires are placed by the foundation statue to remind us that glitches are the greatest thing in video game history. It's a shame they get patched. On the horizon, it was possible to see the moon had changed into a heart. The pink light would streak across the island. It was pretty cool. For those dumb men who don't know why the moon is like that this week, I'll help you out. Tuesday the 8th of March was the day all women were born, aka International Women's Day. You're welcome. Later that week, the scientists told us to destroy those pesky IO drills that have been ruining the island. And things got even better because the paradigm finally got back in touch with the scientists. Well, she didn't actually say anything. I'll let him explain. Paradigm has accessed her navigational accounts and appears to be preparing for a long journey. So the way I see it, either Paradigm has had enough and is going as far away from the scientist as she can, or she's coming to the island, like really soon. We're in the last fortnight of this fortnight season, and the drilling underfoot remains the main focus of the loopers. A few days later, it was official. The first act of war between the two. Io removing a seven building for the first time, cutting communications to this part of the island. The reality war is coming very soon. Which leads me to today, the final week of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 1. We know IO is ready to battle, and we know the Paradigm is on the way back to back up the Seven. We've seen the Polar Peak monster's remains being dug up, and we've seen three rockets sent into space. We now have confirmation the third rocket was successful. Rocket Launch 3 was a success. I did it, with your help. It only took 15 weeks to do it. GG's everyone. As this week and this season comes to an end, we'll assist the scientist one last time as the Paradigm makes her long-awaited return. Right now, the island is littered with underground rumblings and drilling can be felt everywhere. The island is about to change forever and the reality war between Io and the Seven is only days away. I'll let the scientist have the last word on this. Paradigm, it's me again. Uh, this is my final message. Everything, and I mean everything, depends on you now. You've always been so much more than just our pilot. In our darkest days, you brought us hope. You brought us together. And after everything you've been through, I wish we didn't need you to suit up again. But we do, we really do. All reality is yours to save. You know, that's it. Just all reality. You just need to come home. I'll see you in season two. Here's a bunch of legends who've used my code. See you next time.